Hello, this is Kiro, and I'm here to introduce the Level 1 guideline for the Pathway program in Toastmasters International. For those who are new members in Toastmasters, I hope this can be a guide to proceed with your Level 1 process. And for those who are not familiar with Toastmasters program, and I'm sure this will be a reference to know about the well-structured education program provided in Toastmasters. So here it goes. What is Pathway? So Pathway is the Toastmasters education program, which you can learn about both communication and leadership skills. We used to have separate, tra separate tracks in communication and leadership skills, but recently they combined these tracks in one, and this is the, what we call Pathway education program. So level one project consists of three projects, icebreaker, evaluation and feedback, and researching and presenting. On whichever path that you choose in pathway program, level one projects consist of the exactly same projects. So whichever project you choose doesn't matter. If you just follow this guideline, you will be able to find it. Oh, level one is not that difficult as we think. And at the end of this session, I'll show you the overview of the level one projects. So about the icebreaker, the speech objective of icebreaker is to introduce yourself very simple, this is it, introduce yourself. And another kind of hidden objective is to learn about the basic structure of public speaking. So because this is your first time to stand up in the podium in front of Toastmasters members and guests, so it will be very difficult to deliver speech about yourself, especially if you have never talked about yourself in front of the audience. I'm sure uh, it will be pretty quite tough to tell about yourself and deliver the public speaking. But this is that why we, we need to do the icebreaker in front of many people. The time limit is four to six minutes, and the checkpoint is you, you will be able to find the speech outline worksheet. So if you find on the manual, you'll be able to know that there is a thing called speech outline worksheet. Now you, there is a slot that you can write your speech title, telling about yourself, main points, and a lot of people tell about the reasons for joining Toastmasters. This is optional, but a lot of people tell them why they joined Toastmasters and, uh, and what made them to join Toastmasters. And there's only opening part here, but there's opening body and conclusion part where you can write a summary of the greeting, capturing the audience interests, introducing yourself, and transition. If you just fill up all these slots, there, it won't be difficult to write the three minutes of speech. All you, need to do, all you need to do is add a little bit more of information that you want to tell to your audience. So th this is the common Q&A that I get about the icebreaking speech. The so question number one is, can I use PowerPoint? My answer is, I recommend not to rely on PowerPoint. Once you get to use the slides, the attention from the audience get to be focused not on yourself but to the powerpoints because you need to know how you can interact with your audience one of the re this is the one of the reasons that i recommend not to use powerpoints and it, it requires different skills when you use powerpoints and this is your first time to deliver your public speaking in front of the audience so let's try not to use powerpoints when should i do my icebreaker speech let's do the role sign up right now and tell your vice president of education that you want to deliver a speech. The sooner, the better. And what should I speak about? What should I talk about? Anything that can show and tell yourself would be great. For example, my hobby is singing. And in my icebreaker speech, I told the reason that why I like to sing. It was related to my personality and one of the reasons and used to be my dream when I was young. Why did I choose this major or job? Don't explain about your major or job. Tell them why you choose this major and job. Or the reason that I came to Toastmasters and so on. Anything that you can tell about yourself is fine. The second project is evaluation and feedback. Speech objective is applying the feedbacks that you got and try to give the feedback to your speakers. So these are the steps that's required in evaluation feedback project. The first step, do your first speech and get evaluation. 
The speech topic is free, but it's really important to deliver your first speech and get evaluation. The second step that you need to do is apply the feedbacks that you got at the first speech and to your second speech. So you need to deliver two speeches in this project. And the last step is do the speech evaluation for your speaker. And don't forget to get the evaluation for your speech evaluation. All you need to do is get the written evaluation, but don't forget to get this evaluation for yourself. Time limit is five to seven minutes for the speeches and two to three minutes for the evaluation. The common q and that I got is, do I have to do my icebreaker again at this project? I recommend another speech because if you deliver icebreaker speech again, audience will get to hear the same speech for more than three times. Does my first and second speech should be the same? Yes. The purpose of this project is to improve the same speech with the feedback you got. So if you really, really want to deliver another speech, mm, there's no absolute no's in Toastmasters, but still, the great speeches are not written. It is rewritten. Uh, and the more you practice the same speech, there's a higher chance you get to know about the some kind of flaws or your strong points in your speech. So try to give the same speech. The speech evaluator should be the same person. It would be the best if the evaluator is the same person. But the second option can be getting the evaluation from the person that who heard your first speech. Because not, not everyone can join the meeting. And not that evaluator may not be able to join the meeting when you deliver your speech. But at least let's, should, let's get the evaluator who saw your speech. The third project and the last project of the level one is researching and presenting. The speech objective is learn the basic researching method and give a speech based on the research that has been done. Basically, this is an infor informative speech. The topic selection is very important in this project because the topic should be that you are not familiar with and, or the, you may choose the topic that you had an interest in. It. For example, my major is life science about biology, but because I'm not familiar with and because I had interest in Spain history, I, I delivered a speech about the Spain history, the why Spain what, the, what kind of the Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth and some kind of countries they used to be in Spain and so on. So this will be an example when you give a researching and presenting speech. Time limit is same, five to seven minutes, and the checkpoint is a research worksheet. Just like the outline that you saw in the icebreaker, you'll be able to do this worksheet and try to fill up with it. Then you'll be able to get some more idea or kind of reorganize what you had done related to your research and the topic that you chose. So this is the overview of the level one. First one, icebreaker. Basically introducing yourself and learn about the basic public speaking structure and know what kind of skills that you already have. Second project, evaluation and feedback. Deliver your first speech, get speech evaluation, and apply the feedbacks that you got at the evaluation and deliver your second speech. Then deliver a speech evaluation for your speaker. So you need to do two speeches and one speech evaluation. Research and presenting. You need to choose the topic that you are not familiar with or that you had an interest. This is an informative speech. So you need to deliver four speeches and one evaluation if you want to complete level one. And considering that you have weekly meeting and you joined only one club, it will take about three months to complete level one. Usually, uh, it takes about a month or half a month, one and a half month to deliver the icebreaker speech. But for the evaluation feedback, because you, you can deliver same speech again, it usually takes about like only two weeks after, after delivering the first speech to deliver the second speech and takes about an one, another month to deliver the researching and presenting. So it takes about three to four months to complete your level one. But if your club have like bi-weekly meeting or meeting of once in a month, then probably it will take a little, little bit longer to complete your level one. But this is the overview and guideline to deliver your speeches in level one.
If you have any questions related to level one pathway or Toastmaster, uh, you can I'll please ask any time that you want. I'll try to reply back as soon as possible. See you soon. Hello, this is Kiro, and I'm here to.